What's up, Ninja? Today I'm going to show you how to use Leap Motion in VC Face. So the first thing you're going to do is open the program, make sure you're up to date. As you can see, this is the version I'm using right now, and VC Face gets an update pretty frequently, so you want to make sure that you keep up with it. Now, to start Leap Motion tracking, all you have to do is press this button. See? As you can see, mine's already set up, but to set yours up, you're going to go to Settings, Leap Motion Settings. And here you can see where to position it. It says right here, chest, flat on desk, or head. Oh dear. Interesting. Um, but I have it on the chest, and I use it by clipping it to my shirt. I have a file that I 3D printed. It's like a little uh, t-shirt clip, and you kind of just slide the Leap Motion tracker onto it, and then it clips to your shirt. I'll go ahead and link that below. Originally, I used this 3D printed um, file and after about a week my device would just slide right off of the clip so I ended up designing my own and I made it a little like tighter so it wouldn't do that and right now I'm pulling I'm pulling on the device and it's not coming out so I think this one is better and after a week you know I'll see if it is as good as I hope it is but I'm gonna sell the file that I created for like a dollar online and then I'll sell, you know, 3D printed versions of this file online as well. So I'll put both the links below where you guys can shop that and hopefully it helps you out. So as you can see, there's all these motion controls. I just keep it the way it is. The one that you really want to mess with is the height, like where is your clip going? As you can tell, it moves my arm even though it's my arm is on the desk, but depending how high I make this, you just want to do as accurate as possible. Transition time is really just like how long it takes for things to happen. So there's a lag the further I go, more immediate, kind of freaks out. So these are just the settings I like. You can easily just copy it. Hands mode, obviously, it, it, it kind of it mirrors your hands. It's all it is. So right hand lifts up, but left hand lifts up on screen, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's, it's actually very simple. And this is really how you get Leap Motion set up. I'll link below where you can get Elite Motion as well. Um, another program you can use uh, for hand tracking is called Luppet, but that's paid. That's why we're doing a VC face tutorial because this is free. And that's really all you need to know about hand tracking. Um, I really went over VC face in a previous tutorial, so hopefully this is all that I have to explain. And as usual, please subscribe, um, like the video, please let me know what tutorials you want to see in the future. I have a couple planned already, but I really want to get this out there because I have a lot of people asking me like where to get the leap motion and where is it placed on my body and all that stuff. So yeah, very simple um, settings are here. Copy what I have and you guys should be fine. Links below where to download the file and print it yourself or where to order one from me and I can ship it out to you. Hopefully you guys live in the States. I gotta figure that out. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye.